All right, coming to you from the GPU server room with the fans blowing. We are still mining. The machines are up. The rigs are up, but we are in a crypto winter, guys. Uh, the equities are down, too. Stocks are down. Everything is down. The world is imploding. Uh, yeah, what are you guys doing? Are you still mining? Are you getting nervous? Or what is up? Yeah, you, uh, are you losing money? Are you making money? Are you selling? Anyway, I uh, make this video today because uh, profits are definitely down. From about June 13th, we had a spike where I was getting back up about 30 bucks a day on about 1.4 giga hash. It's showing 1.2 to 1.3 here, but sometimes it pops on up, going up to 1.4. And uh, I was getting 31 the other day. Yeah, it was good. Difficulty dropped. Uh, yeah, it was a, that was a good day. Now we're back down to under 20 bucks. It was down to 18 earlier on the same amount of giga hash. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think with the summer heat now, the humidity, I'm going to start turning the uh, the rigs off during maybe from like 2 p.m. to like 7 p.m., the hot part of the day, just so I'm not burning up the, the building, the house, and fighting the AC, that type of thing, and maybe cut down on some energy costs there. Something to consider, but uh, profits are definitely dropping. So there I am right now with my little baby rigs. Again, it's not much. Other guys have gotten lots of free GPUs from people or bought in lots of GPUs from the old days when they were cheap and built up to like multiple giga hash. And they are they are sitting pretty, uh, even with the huge power bills. But anyway, let's go forth and just look at some of the stuff I look at. We can go over here. We can go over here to what is this? Mining pool stats. Click on Ethereum, type in Ethereum, you'll see what's going on. This gives you a quick warm and fuzzy of what the difficulty is and the uh, average block time uh, is right now on Ethereum. Again, I mine Ethereum on two miners and get Bitcoin. I'm tired of Ethereum and altcoins, man. I uh, should have learned this from 2017, 2018. They all go down 85%. Uh, Bitcoin, maybe, but uh, that is still the king. That's why crypto is where it is because of Bitcoin the largest market cap coin out there. Every other coin is altcoin. Ethereum with the POS and all that crap merging is just not looking good, even with the low crypto winter crash bear market happening. Yeah, nobody knows. I mean, come on. If you knew, you would have sold at 69000 right? Maybe some did and are smarter than me, but good for them. All right, difficulty right now is 13.43 petahash right here on this chart right here. Price is down to 1081. We'll check that in a sec. And the average block time is going up. 14.9 uh, seconds. I saw 15 earlier, so that may be part of the reason why the profits are down. But we can go ahead and look at some other charts. Let's look at the price real quick. Uh, let's see, where are we at today? 15 June of all things. 15 June 2022. So next year when you look at this video, you'll see Bitcoin back above 100,000. Maybe. Or maybe at zero. You just don't know. Listen to Bitcoin, Ben. It could go up. It could go down. Could go backwards, could go sideways, could go to nothing at all. These guys are awesome. Yeah, I hate YouTube, <laughs> but it's entertainment. Come on. It's all entertainment. All right, Bitcoin at 20,000, Ethereum, boo, boo, um, boo, Ethereum, uh, 1078. Again, it's a love-hate with Ethereum, horrible gas fees, but that's what pays your mining fees. Uh, we use it to mine. Once Ethereum goes POS, if it ever does will die because miners will leave it because they can't mine anymore. There goes their fan base. There goes the support. All right, let's jump over to some graphs. Enough of the uh, crap talk. Ethereum, average block time. You can see right here. It's uh, This is reporting up to June 14. So we're about, uh, if I can get, there we go. June 14, 14.75, but it is going up since then. Uh, this chart is typically 24 hours behind. So about 14.9, which will, Decrease your profitability. Let's go look at the next chart. Network hash rate. Uh, looks like it has dropped. Dropped a little bit, which is a good thing. People maybe are turning off their rigs, uh, moving on, and maybe trying to sell their stuff on eBay, and good luck with that. All right. eBay will, again, take all your fees when 14 15% just to sell your stuff. I don't like eBay. But anyway, if you got to sell, you got to sell. Uh, if I ever do, I'll just turn the rigs off and let them sit in the corner. I learned not to sell stuff you may need in the future uh, because it's hard to get it back. All right, let's go into the next chart. Difficulty, did, oh, it definitely went up. Difficulty is going up. Let's go back and see. Sometimes, again, these charts are old. This is a day old. 
This one seems to be better, 13.43. So it does look like it trended down a little bit on the difficulty, but the block time went up. So all these little variables will affect your profits. Uh, that is what we're seeing right now. So a lot of other things is, are going on with the pricing of Ethereum in the whole crypto world. As you may have heard, the Celsius lending platform froze withdrawals. They kind of are just screwed everybody. It's a lending thing using that DeFi protocol. It seems sketchy. I looked into it. Again, I did my own research. I looked at another YouTuber talking about how they stake their stuff and they get paid lots of interest on lending platforms. I looked at it. DeFi, I don't know anything about it. It just seemed very sketch. Did not like it. Got a got a bad spidey sense about it. Did not do it. Thank God I would have lost a lot of money. A lot of money and nothing you could do about it. So you really got to be careful. So since then, and the Luna debacle, which started everything and now Celsius, I got all my stuff off of the exchanges. All my stuff is either in a, in a software wallet or a hardware wallet right now. Uh, I don't trust anything. I just want to hold my coins um you know my keys my coins before i had no problem staking stuff on some of the exchanges getting interest but again now regulations coming in and they're not able to even pay as much as they were paying in interest they dropped it uh quite a bit based on what you hold on these these platforms like BlockFi, voyager i was a fanboy of them now it's like eh, you're not really getting much anymore and your coins are out there and they may seize them where you can't even withdraw them. And I said, nah, I'm not playing that. I want to own my coins. Uh, and I pulled them off and uh, yeah, done with that. Done with that for now. I just want to be safe and secure. Protect your crypto. That's my uh, that's my advice. Protect your crypto. Other things happening in the mining world, the big miners, not us residential miners, the big boys with uh, big server buildings and uh, lots of ASICs and GPUs. They are having to sell per the on-chain network, the metrics, they are having to sell their Bitcoin to uh, basically pay their electric bills, their staffing, their payroll, whatever, their property, their rent. They are having to sell their Bitcoin. Typically, miners will hold their Bitcoin, their crypto through the bear markets. But right now, they're, they're going, man, we got to sell. We got to cover costs. Now, they may go out of business, some of them. And what's now happening, it's a domino effect. Now, those businesses that are on the edge and barely making bills and having to sell crypto, they are being watched by their competitors going, hmm, we're in a little better position, but let's buy them. Let's buy their resources, their equipment, their people. Uh, and what we what do we got to do that? Well, we got to sell our Bitcoin. So you can see that a lot of selling may continue to happen. And based on history, when they have done finished selling their Bitcoin per the on-chain networks, uh, what happens after they're uh, done selling it is a good thing because things will start recovering because the miners will start mining and holding their crypto. Uh, you can check this out on looking at some of the bigger miner sites. Most of the stuff is public and uh, they will actually announce that they're selling their Bitcoin and what they're doing or acquiring other companies. You got to do some research, guys. If you really want to get into this stuff in a bear market, you're going to have to work extra hard uh, like me mining CPUs and finding the most profitable coin being my own nice hash. Uh, you got to then do the, do the work, start sweating a little bit and may pay off. And what I'm doing on CPU mining is actually paying off. I did something new the past couple of days. And I'm getting more coins and a little more profit. Uh, I'll talk about that in another video. Double my profits on CPU. It's not much, but it's something It's better than breaking even. Uh, yeah, you just got to do the research, do the work. Do the sweat. Listen to people on YouTube and just start trying stuff. You know, what's it going to hurt? You're going to cost yourself a couple bucks a day with your rig down or you're playing. Big deal. You'll learn. And with the knowledge, you'll learn how the market works, how the whales are controlling the market, how everything is still tied to equities and stocks, which is kind of scary. And we got the Fed coming out today, probably going to crank rates again. And, and it's all tied together, which I don't like. I wish crypto would decouple from uh, the equities, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Anyway, that's where we're at. Profits are down with the heat of the summer out there and humidity. I may shut my rigs off, like I said, from 2 to 7 p.m. And that'll cut down on the uh, electric bill, uh, heating up the building, the, the room, the server room. And uh, yeah, you never know. If anything, you should be focused. If you want to keep your rigs running, maybe dial back the hash rate. Try to be more efficient. There is an efficiency column. Uh, on most miners, software miners like G Miner, T Rex Miner, NB Miner, LOL Miner, they put a column out 
uh, next year at hash rate about efficiency. How efficient are you running according to the um, kilohash you're mining versus the watch used? You got to look at that. You got to dial that in. Get it above 400. Uh, get it above 400, 500 if you can. That's going to be a tough one on some of the cards, but uh, you can do that. Some of the good cards I run efficiently are the 6600 XTs and even those little 1660, uh, oh my God, TIs, whatever, Supers, they run okay as well. Smaller cards, I think, are the better ones. These big 3080 Ti monsters, 3090 Ti's. Yeah, I mean, I think I might try dialing down, but right now I'm just going to shut them off in the afternoon. Because like I said, if you're only getting, I mean, you're getting 20 bucks and that's before electricity. So I don't know. It's a trade-off. Going to try stuff, see what works and uh, go forth and keep mining. I'm not going to sell anything. I'm not going to really turn everything out permanently. But right now, I just think I may whittle back, dial back the operation for now. And uh, just let you guys know what I'm doing, because I figure if I'm doing it, I'm Mr. Joe Average. I'm nobody special. I'm figuring it out every day as I go. And uh, maybe we'll all share our uh, collective knowledge and uh, figure this out. All right, go forth, guys. That is all I got. Ah, uh, quit uh, crypto winner, guys. Get your get your burkas out and uh, bundle up. And uh, best thing to do sometimes is do nothing at all. But I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, it's your money. You got the bills to pay. Uh, yeah, make your own choices. All right, talk to you later. I'm out. I'm out. I said later.